Take a look at that, man. I'm gonna do a little burst behind yeah, it and everything. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yep. Yeah. A little bit there. It's fine. Yeah. Cool. Ready? Yeah, you definitely have your own style compared to a lot of people I've seen out there. There's a proper way to tattoo, you know, like there's a foundation to it. A good tattoo should have a strong line, some good shading, right. some strong feel of the color, you know. But past that, then you gotta start adding your own right. to it. I think what people recognize in my work and possibly what I'm most known for is doing these kind of spiritual deity tattoos. A friend of mine, Daniel Higgs, actually turned me on to this group of painters called the Kali Ghat Painters. They're the guys who were painting outside of the Kali Temple in Calcutta. And uh, this style of painting was done very fast, and it really had a look of tattoo flash. Simple lines, bolder, you know, um, more iconic, not a lot of background and stuff like that. This was the turning point because these were the perfect mesh of the thing I loved about traditional American tattooings, but in the Eastern culture. He was the first person to talk to me about Krishna. I don't think Robert's a devotee, but he's definitely devoted, if that makes any sense, you know. I was 17, I quit school. We were hanging out at the boardwalk, and this guy comes up to me. Didn't look like a Hare Krishna at all. And he's like, you're under arrest. And like, my blood went cold. I was always guilty of doing something. Yeah. And he said, for smiling. And he handed me a sticker of the Lord Jagannath that says smile. It was the ultimate sell. So we went on the beach and he gave me a set of Japa beads and he taught me the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. It resonated with me. Robert's journey is super unique, I would say. You know, like his traveling to and from India has been like a huge inspiration to him. You know, over the years, like his spirituality has become more dominant. He meditates, you know, he, only, he will chant, you know, he play music and like in that spiritual form. Before I start every tattoo, I look at my spiritual master. I have a small picture of him. Please let me do the best job I can do for this person. In the eyes of God, let me be a good servant. Today is a very special day. I'm going to start Pat Barnacle's back piece, and he's been our assistant for four years. Rami's getting a Christ head on his back. Um, my belief is that Christ spent a lot of time in India, so he has the markings of a Vishnu saint. There's a story about sailors on ships getting Christ tattooed on their back so the captain wouldn't be as aggressive when he was whipping them. This was a way for protection, not even philosophically, but just like them seeing it and just be like, I can't, I can't do that to Jesus, so. All right, buddy, let's go on the voyage together. <laughs> I feel as though when people get a tattoo from Robert, it is some sort of amulet of protection in some way or form. I don't even know that they even fully understand exactly what they're getting. People do come to you for some sort of weird healing through a tattoo sometimes, you know? Some sort of emotional healing, some sort of mental healing, just to feel better about your life. You don't just come into a tattoo shop and get a tattoo because it feels good, because it doesn't feel good, it's expensive, it's annoying, it takes a while to heal. There's all these like negative things that go along with it, but the outcome is brings you some sort of peace or happiness. I just awakened your kundalini chakra. <laughs> All right, here we go. Some people, they come in and they want that tattoo that they've always wanted, and then that's their one tattoo shop experience, and they'll leave, and that's it. And then there's the other person who is on this spiritual quest, and a tattoo like Robert, they're getting that powerful image, giving them more than a tattoo. It's an experience, and it's a lifelong happy feeling, you know? It's great. Yeah, awesome. You did so good. So, so just the third eye is bleeding. Yeah. 
I did it in red. <laughs> like, no, no, you're, you're seeing a miracle right now. now. <laughs>